Hello guys and welcome back to the Ape Escape 2 playthrough. This is now part 3. On the last part, I had played through the levels Castle Frightmare, Viacy Banana, Casino Park and Ninja Hideout. And then I came face to face against Yellow Monkey. But any further ado, let us continue on to Snowball Mountain. So now that I don't, I don't have Pipachi anymore, things are going to be a little bit harder. Since I don't have the help of Pipachi around at the time being. Alrighty then. Let's go! So yeah, on the last... I lost quite a bit of health on the last... On the last part. Between, oh, between Ninja Hideout and the Yellow Monkey, I lost yeah. quite a bit of quite a bit of my a few of my cookies. And I only have one and a half yeah. of course cookies. Yeah. Ow! Yeah. All right, uh, I two yeah. cookies now. All of a sudden, the monkey with the machine gun, trying to capture him. Got gibber. And now he is Bernie. Hopefully I can restore my health back to the soon. Oh look, a ping penguins. Bowling penguins. Ow. Trying to hit them. Ow. Try to hit them. At the same time with the catapult. Alright. Oh look, another telephone. Look out, Hikaru! some slippery ice just ahead. If you lose your footing, you'll fall and lose a life. Actually, what they say is actually true. When you fall in this game, you don't actually lose a life, but rather a full cookie. So, yes, technically, you don't lose a life. You don't instantly lose a life. Like, when you first they escape, you did, but not in this game. It's produced to this lowering your um I hit what you got now. That work. So I can scale up here and, and I can ride these gems on the on this on this tree. them all up. 
I'll be able to take them all out with one explosive pellet. Okay, okay. Gather up. Gather up slime. Almost there. Perfect. Up. Ow. Oh, no. No. Giant cookie. I do need help. But if I get hit one more time, I lose a lot of things. Oh, there's a monkey up there. Oh, hey, look, it's Sonic Monkey. Our monkey claws. I'm gonna slow down. That was bad. That was bad slow down. That wasn't very good. by pressing the left analog stick in the direction you want to go. It's really fast, but I'm sure you can handle it without difficulty. You can also defeat monkeys and enemies by crashing into them. I need an awkward dino, but I'm sure I can get used to it. Came right in front of the car. Look at him get hit there. All right. Let's see if we can get out of that. Oh, I'm wrong. oh, a new mini game. Dance, monkey dance. They might be slime. Just fighting those enemies just a few minutes ago. Oh my! Here's a great idea. Game him. There are four different RC classes to collect. The black card is one and a half times faster than a standard card. Mm. Yeah, there's five. RC card classes in the game, each one being slightly different than the rest of them. Anyway, another time to continue on with the funky fable, the gold and silver bananas. The beautiful goddess asked the professor, the banana you've lost, 
Was it gold or was it silver? The honest professor told her it was neither, and the, the fair goddess handed the professor both a gold and silver banana. The penniless professor was, of course, quite overjoyed with his luck. However, someone other than the professor also knew the secret of the fountain, for a little monkey hiding nearby had witnessed the entire scene. The monkey was quite excited to have discovered a fountain that turned one banana into two. Once the professor left, he threw his own banana into the fountain. And sure enough, the beautiful goddess arose from it. The banana you have lost, was it gold or was it silver? Aping the professor, he applied with a shake of his head. Oh, another comic strip. Tup, 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 tup. I won't lose this time, Hikaru. This time I have a turbo boots on. Click. Take that, Hikaru. Zoom. That's too fast. Crash. I, I won. <laughs> I cheated, though. You didn't win fair and square, though. Alright. Oh, fortune. Today's fortune. Be very fair. Be very wary of stomach pains. You may have a sudden toilet visit today. Oh, goodness. It's gonna be a hard one. Another photo. Aww. Everyone gathering, gathering around for a cute picture. We're not friends anymore. <laughs> okay, time to move on. Look out, Valley. Hey, Carol, I'm sending this gotcha gadget to. Oh yes, my favorite gotcha gadget. The sky flyer makes towering heights irrelevant. Use the gadget trainer to learn how to fly like a bird. Do you want to go to the gadget trainer now? Oh yes, the sky fire is very helpful for reaching those high those high platforms that seem just out of reach normally. It helps it can help me re reach high platforms when All right, then, let's do it. Here I come! Gotcha! You're mine! Tie. Tie. Named after Tie the Tasmanian Tiger. I play one of those games someday. I heard, the, heard, I heard a few things about the Thai games. Mostly, the first game was really good, and then it, and it kind of became like Sonic Adventure, kind of like the Banjo Kazooie, not some boats were. Are they games? To introduce vehicles into the game. Anyway. Come back here. Ali. Ali. 
Uh, please tell us more. What do they have to say? Those fiery monkeys with the red pants are tough little devils. They have a killer punch. You know it's coming when their helmet lights flash bright red. Oh, yes. Now we have red pants monkeys who aren't afraid to start a fight when they see you. There's a monkey on his own. Let's see if I can sneak up behind him without him noticing. And... Gotcha! Olivia! Okay, so it looks like this monkey wants to put up a fight. He uses machines to take him down. Better take cover. And fire the fight. Ow. Gun. simultaneously in opposite directions to paddle the boat. To turn, press down on just one of the analog sticks. Alright. A new creep to be able to tilt both analog sticks to the forward. And then you use one analog stick to move back. Oh, there we go. I hope this one why it wasn't moving. I'm gonna just do Piranha if you're not in the pool to be able to attack me. Take a chunk out of my... Chunk out of my health back. Now we go. 
Ah, oh, here's one of the new gotcha gadgets introduced to this game. This is the banana rag. Banana rag attracts monkeys with its powerful aroma. A bit of training in the gadget trainer, and you'll be the Pied Piper of the jungle. Want to go to the gadget trainer now? Sure. Let me just explain how this new gadget works in this game. Basically, Let's it, do it. X is kind of you cannot use it as a you can use it as a weapon to fight enemies, but you can also use it to to attract monkeys with its scent by rotating the analog stick. Don't rotating the right analog stick clockwise or anti-clockwise. Alright. Listen up, Hikaru. You need to learn about the functions of the banana rang. The banana rang is a throwing weapon. Use the right analog stick to launch the banana rang. Control it just as you would the catapult. Press down, then release. See those enemies over there? Get them with the banana rang. Yeah! Yeah! All right, yeah! Time to this. On a decoy monkey to show how it works. Hikaru, there's a lot more to the banana rang than you think. You can make the banana rang emit a fruity scent that the monkeys can't resist. This could be really useful for catching all those monkeys. Yes, indeed. After you've thrown the banana rang, rapidly rotate the right analog stick. This releases a delicious banana aroma. Try throwing it towards the switch over there and then activating the scent. The monkey doll will react to the scent. Look! Right, let's test it out on the decoy monkey. Come on. Here we go. Let's see the monkey cut for the banana scent. And it went to One thing to remember, Hikaru. When to activate the button on the floor. When monkeys have a full stomach, they won't react to the banana rang. You can check the hunger level of a monkey by using the monkey cam on the monkey radar. Ah, yes. The banana rang won't work on monkeys that have a full stomach, so for those monkeys, the banana rang won't have any effect on them, so you can use it on every monkey. Point the monkey radar towards a monkey and press the L2 button. This will activate the monkey cam. When you find hungry monkeys, use the banana rang scent to your advantage. Alright, time to go ape and capture nine monkeys. We have triple A battery jellyfish in this level. Let's go! It's a weird space. It's a weird can on the beach side. Searching for the pochi while you're catching the monkeys, understand? 
because he was trying to send himself back to Karu. Anyway, let's see this monkey stats. Gloria, relax. Sun, Sun, Sea, and Sunny. It looks like she's stuck though. She can't move. Here's a monkey, Brad. Surf's up, dude. Oh. Come on, Brad. There's a giant banana here for you. Gotcha! Her special oh dear. She can't seem to get she can't seem to her pants don't seem to be the right size. She keeps tripping over trying to put them on. But then here says here's a special banana just for you. I know you're hungry. Oh sorry Saz. Wherever the chest, wherever the monkey man transports them, I'm sure they'll be in a better place. Well, it looks like this area is filled with. Plenty of coin, gold coins. Here's another monkey. Mulder, the truth is out there. Hmm. How many? Let's try some. Let's try this. Yeah, he doesn't notice me. That's good. Does he notice the giant banana? No? Okay. Let's try it again. No? He doesn't notice it still. Maybe now. It's right next to him. Surely he notices it. Yep. Gotcha! I was able to do it without him hopping into his little monkey UFO. <laughs> so thing thing get hairy. Ready? 
Hold on. Steady and aim. Can't get all of them though. Oh well. Come on, I can get that last one. There we go. All right, now it's time to use the banana ride to lure the special monkeys out of their hiding, of their hiding spots. This is one of the main uses of the banana ride. Come on, there we go. Rick. Rick and Morty. So, I'm gonna have to lure her out of her shell. Capture her. Gotcha! You're mine! Alright, so. Here's the last monkey to capture. Shut up, banana. And all done. done. Speedo. Yes. All right. We still haven't found Papati. I wonder if he's okay. I hope he's all right. For it. All right. And now it's time to fight the third monkey of uh, the Freaky Monkey Five. This is Pink Monkey. This is strange in the place for the fight. Mister, you came all this way just to watch my show? Oh, thanks so much! What? Huh? Is this a pop? I'm just is so she a pop idol? All of you lovely people out there have come to see my very first premiere performance. That's not why I came here. Uh, no, why? Well, uh... In order to thank everybody, I'd like to sing my debut single. Thank you. Okay. Okay. 
Time to begin the second phase of her boss fight. The, the only boss fight in the game that <laughs> has multi phases in the fight. There's every other attack. attack There's mostly the same attack patterns. Some very Ow. I fired a dog. You're done, Pink Monkey. Yes. Escape the ape that's in you. Good job, but Papachi wasn't there. I wonder where Pipachi could be. I'm sure we'll find him soon. I'm worried. Just where could Pipachi be? Yeah. Hopefully we'll find him soon. Okay, anyway, today it's fortune. I have a strong feeling that you will make loads of spelling mistakes today. Oh, goodness. I make spelling mistakes. I already make a good few spelling mistakes already. I'm not very good at writing, so... Spelling mistakes good often. And there's music for making monkeys stage. Penguin, there was a penguin and snowball snipe. And then a few more of these. And you're a comic strip. Wow, another strike! Yes! Looks like Hikaru wins again. Yellow Monkey has a chance if he just stopped guttering. <laughs> wow! Slip! Scram! Yellow monkey earns a victory. <laughs> Gracious me. <laughs> oh boy. Another research memo. Found out that red, red bean bread was first made in Japan during the seventh year of the 
Meiji era. Nyaiki. Alright. This should be the last part of the gold and silver bananas. The kind goddess smiled and handed him both gold and silver bananas. The monkey was quite thrilled and he began eating the bananas right then and there. But as you know, one cannot eat a gold or silver banana. The unknowing monkey thought that the goddess had tricked him out of his banana. His monkey helmet shone bright red, shone bright red, showing his anger. He took both bananas and threw them straight at her. That's bad. She gave him, she gave him the gold and silver banana, and now he's throwing them back away. This made the goddess very, very sad, which you could see in her eyes. She then gave the monkey two real bananas instead. This of course made the monkey as happy as can be. The goddess watched the monkey dash away and was glad that he seemed pleased. But she found it all quite strange. If only he were to sell the gold and silver bananas, he could eat as many bananas as he liked. Oh well, each to his own she reasoned and disappeared from view, a little more confused than before. I suppose he can't eat gold and silver, so I guess. It would make sense why you get mad. Mm, it's more hard to work. Characters. Another monkey. No, an enemy. The bomb bat. We're fighting them in the pink monkey boss fight. Another photo. Dry throat. Movie from the beginning of the game. Another secret photo. The monkey cannon. Some kind of monkey always have dark. Another secret photo. Spectre. 100 victories and 100 battles is all well and good, but the virtuous monkey does otherwise. Avoidance is the best to pass. More music. Another fortune. Today's fortune. Take a closer look at your surroundings. You'll probably notice something new. Even if you don't notice anything, don't worry. I didn't get to let the monkey use the UFO, so I didn't get to see that. More music. Alright, board card set that work. Pipachi is not just along for the ride, you know. He can spot monkeys out of your field of view and also give you a helping hand on tricky jumps. Where is the party anyway? Oh, Faden. He hasn't... Oh, Faden, he hasn't got himself in danger. Anyway, I'm gonna do the next level. Enter the monkey. We have to find the party. Alright, go ahead and capture 17 monkeys out of possible 18. Alright, it looks like these monkeys are practicing their martial arts. And loads of monkeys over here. Seven monkeys. Let's see if I can use the banana ring to, the, to distract any of them. Okay, yes, it does work. John Paul, Marshall, 
Chan. Zemeski. Well, Wesley. Barry. Any more monkeys that I miss? Here's an one more. And Chaz. Even though I was there, Damon. Hikaru's safety. Oh, Professor, I found Pipochi and he's fine. Oh, good work. Yeah, I'm going to take him with me on the adventure. Very well. Just be careful out there. Let's go, Pipochi. Oh. Uh, looks like we have Pipochi back. This isn't maxed out, so we shouldn't shouldn't be. Let's try distracting him with the lovely scent of a banana. I knew it would work. This furnace wasn't maxed out, so. No need to transfer that you couldn't resist the delicious scent of the banana. Ow. Let's see if this monkey can like the delicious scent of the banana. Johnny. Ow. Oh. 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 
civilized swine. Gosh, you keep slipping off. Kakachi is safe and sound, thankfully. It's a lot of red pack monkeys. But anyway, I'm gonna leave this part off right here. If you enjoyed. Oh. Pipochi, you really had us worried. Pipochi wanted to be with you, Hikaru. But anyway, I'm gonna save the game and I'm gonna end this. I'm gonna end part four here. If you enjoyed this episode, please consider giving it a like. If you wanna subscribe to the channel, if you want to stay up to date with my current videos, make sure to hit the notification bell. But anyway, <coughs> this has been Mark Murphy, and I hope I'll see you next time. Mark Murphy, signing out. Goodbye.